Hello you beautiful people, welcome to another video with me Tom. Today I'm going to tell you my 10 favourite English words of all time. Schmooze, nincompoop, schmooze, nincompoop, epiphany. Alright, we're going to find out what they mean after this. Now, I love making top 10 lists. For example, my top 10 favourite countries that i visited, my top 10 favourite films I've watched, you get the idea. Now, today I've done my top 10 favourite words of all time. These are the words that I just love. Now, maybe it's because they sound really cool and I enjoy saying them. Maybe it's because uh, I love the meaning of them. It, it could be any reason. So, I hope you enjoy them. Let's get to number one. All right, this first one is my favorite word of all time. It's, I love, I love saying this word. Now, technically it's two words, but you'll forgive me. In cahoots, in cahoots. Oh, I like that word. Right, now this word means that people work together secretly, usually for dishonest or illegal reasons. Um, so, for example, I'm sure the government and the bankers are working in cahoots. I'm sure the government and the bankers are working in cahoots. How good is that word? In cahoots. In cahoots. So you're just working together with somebody else secretly to do something a little bit naughty. It doesn't have to be. It could be a, a fun thing as well, like a cheeky, naughty, fun thing. But yeah, in cahoots. To be in cahoots with someone. So you're in cahoots with someone. Number two, serendipity. Serendipity. It's a noun and it means it's like a, a happy accident. It's when events occur by chance um, and they have a happy ending. They have a, a positive outcome. So it might be that you, by accident you found uh, your life partner or that you met a person that could help you get a new job. Whatever it is, like it's the kind of magic in the air that kind of brings us good fortune. Serendipity. Serendipity. All right, an example sentence. It was serendipity that he met his wife at university. It was serendipity that he met his wife at university. Number three, wanderlust. Wanderlust. Oh, I just love saying it. It's, it's an amazing word to say and I feel, well, the meaning is a strong desire to travel. And when I say the word wanderlust, I'm, I'm picturing your images of tropical islands and uh, mountains and all kinds of amazing places. Wanderlust. Ah, oh, that's a fun one to say. Now, it's a noun and it means a strong desire to travel. Let's put that into an example sentence. Whenever I go on Instagram and I scroll through my friend's travel photos, I get wanderlust. Whenever I go on Instagram and I scroll through my friend's travel photos, I get wanderlust. Yep. I don't know about you, let me know in the comments below. If you ever get wanderlust when you go on Instagram, let me know in the comments below. Yeah, I get it pretty bad. <laughs> Number four, this, this is, this is amazing, guys. The word is schmooze. Schmooze. Oh, wow. That's an amazing word. Okay, it's a verb, and it comes originally from, the, from Yiddish. Okay, so from, it's a word that's been given to English, by the Yiddish language and it means to talk to someone in a friendly manner but you have a reason or a motive you want to get something from them so there's a reason why you're being so friendly you want to get something from them people often do it in a business context so maybe you're meeting clients um, and you have to get their business then you might schmooze you might sort of be overly friendly or more friendly than maybe you would normally be to, to get their business or to get their attention or to make them like you. So there's a reason why you're being so friendly to someone. To schmooze. Ah, oh, what a word, to schmooze. <laughs> all right, let's put that into an example sentence. I spent all night schmoozing with clients. I spent all night schmoozing with clients. Schmooze. Just say it a couple of times. Schmooze. Schmooze. It's, it's so much fun to say. Schmooze. Guys, this is the word that you need to learn today. Discombobulated. What? What was that word? Discombobulated. I'll say it one more time. Discombobulated. <laughs> Have you ever heard that word before? It's amazing. It's, what a word. Okay, 
So it's an adjective. It means confused or unsure. Um, so an example sentence. Wow, the jet lag on this trip has made me feel really discombobulated. The jet lag on this trip has made me feel really discombobulated. So you're kind of confused. Maybe because you don't know what time zone you're in. You know, maybe you were in Japan and then you flew to London and you wake up and to you it's four o'clock in the morning, but actually it's, uh, you know, um, eight at night. You feel totally confused. You don't really know where you are. You are discombobulated. <laughs> what a word. Ah, oh, yes. Try and use that in a sentence today. That's your homework. Try and use the word discombobulated in a sentence. All right, we're straight in with another one. Nincompoop. <laughs> Nincompoop. I, I laugh just saying it. That's why I like it. This one makes me smile. Uh, it's a noun and it just means a, an idiot, a stupid person. You can call someone a nincompoop and they are stupid, they are an idiot. Uh, it's slightly old fashioned maybe. I wouldn't say it in a serious way. I think it's quite a humorous word. So we say it in, in a funny way. Um, oh, what a nincompoop. That guy is such a nincompoop. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, I don't know how often I would say it, but I love it. And when I do say it, I enjoy saying it. Nincompoop. I chose this word because I love the sound of it. Lagoon. Ah, oh, lagoon. It sounds tropical. It sounds beautiful. Lagoon. Oh, please, come on. Right, a lagoon is a, an area of water, or area of salt water, that is uh, separated from the sea by sand or by a coral reef or something like that. So an example sentence, let's go and swim in the lagoon. Let's go and swim in the lagoon. Ah, oh, can you imagine it like beautiful clear water, sunshine, uh, beautiful fish swimming in, in the lagoon, uh, palm trees, yes. Lagoon. That's what I think about. When I say the word lagoon, that's what I think about. All right, back again with another funny word, flummoxed. Flummoxed. Oh, come on. These words are amazing. Flummoxed. How much fun is saying the word flummoxed? Flummoxed. Now, this is an adjective again. It means kind of uh, bewildered or perplexed or kind of confused as well. You kind of don't know what to do. That's the thing, like when you're uh, flummoxed, you are sort of like, oh God, I don't know what to say or what to do in this situation. Uh, an example sentence. All my colleagues were asking me loads of questions in the meeting and I, I got a little bit flummoxed. So all my colleagues were asking me questions in the meeting and I, I got a little bit flummoxed. So I didn't know what to say. When they were asking me these questions, I kind of was a bit confused. I was like, oh, I don't know the answers. Uh, too many questions. I was flummoxed. That's a good one. Number nine sounds exactly like the, the meaning. So epiphany, epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> what a word. Now, it's a noun and it means a sudden moment of realization. Epiphany. So that ep sounds like the, the appearance of this realization or this idea. Uh, epiphany. Oh, and suddenly you realize this, this thing. So I did work experience in a hospital and it was a real epiphany for me. So I did work experience at a hospital and it was a real epiphany for me. And my final one, number 10, this is the cutest one of all, snuggle, snuggle. Oh, this is a nice one. This sounds like the action. So uh, to snuggle is a verb and it means to uh, get yourself into a warm, comfortable position. Uh, <laughs> so an example sentence would be, I love that photo of you and your dog snuggling on the sofa. I love that photo of you and your dog snuggling on the sofa. <laughs> Can you imagine it? Like a puppy, snuggling with a puppy. That's pretty cool. Okay, so the word is snuggle, to snuggle. All right, those are my 10 words. Did you know all those words? Were any of them new to you? I'm sure discombobulated must have been new for some of you at least. Uh, now, what I want you to do is to tell me your favorite words in English, okay? So which words do you love saying or do you love the meaning of? 
let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear. Guys, it's been a pleasure as always to share uh, this video with you. I've really enjoyed this one. This was fun. So if you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments below. Give me a big thumbs up. I always appreciate that and share it with anyone you know that's learning English. Uh, of course, I'll be back every Tuesday and every Friday to teach you fresh modern British English. Uh, but until next time, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name is Tom, the Chief Dreamer, saying goodbye.